So let's take a look at how to use a CSV file to do some basic business intelligence. Let's open up this CSV file here. And uh, I've gone and created a comma-separated value file from the Northwind database, which is a sample database that comes with Microsoft's Access and SQL Server. Uh, and you can see here's the column headers here. This is the names of the columns in the first row. So quickly, who bought my products? Uh, and then the employee who sold the products, their first and last name, the date of the order, the unit price, the product name, how many were sold, quantity, and the total amount for that sale. So very quickly to explain a row. Down here we have the customer Yang Wang, bought from Stephen Buchanan on 11.07.96. Um, <clears throat> He bought 15 Guarana Fantasticas. Now those each cost $3.60. Uh, since he bought 15 of them, that cost $54. $54. So that's the basics of the data here. The data is very, very simple. Every row this is just a different row then for a different sale. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this file and we're going to open it up using a little utility uh, called Numbers Go, which is just a little free tool uh, I got off of the internet. There's a lot of other ones very much like it, but uh, this was good enough for this example. So here I am in Numbers Go. I'm going to open an existing file, and I'm going to find my flat file CSV there on the desktop and open all right, so it's pretty simple. It asks me what am I doing. I'm doing a file import. I have a delimited, comma delimited file, uh, which makes my, you know, as we all know, comma delimited files are usable by thousands of applications just this easily. Okay, so it's going to read through my file. There's, it shows me the data in my file, and I'm just going to hit finish. All right, now when Numbers Go comes up, it's, it's kind of come up with a default report view. I'm going to drag my columns back up here to the top. This top row here is where you can sort of hold your columns when you're not using them. So I can drag them all up there into the top. And now below this line here is the report that I'm going to build, the analysis that I'm going to do with the data in my file. So here you see up in the top all those columns that I showed you straight in my file. So uh, we had employees, last name, first name, the customer, and this is all pulled straight from that comma sorted value file. So let's just analyze, let's take a look at um, product name. I want to see, I drag product name here. Now here I can drag row fields, or I can drag column fields, or I can drag data items. Now what I really want to see is one row per product. So I'm going to drag them onto the row fields and there's all my products. Now data items, what that really means is numbers. You want to see amounts. I mean what good is any of this if I don't know how much I sold? How much am I making? Am I losing money? Am I making money? Who's my best salesperson? What's my top selling product? In fact maybe that's what we want to ask right now. What is my top selling product? So here's all my products and I merely drag on the amount right here and what that's going to show me is the total amount sold of each product. So as you may have recalled, we had a amount uh, field inside the CSV file. And what this is doing is it's adding all of those rows up that had Alice Mutton in them. What if I want to see who purchased these products? Well, then I can go and grab the customer name. And let's put it over here in front of the product name. So here I've got my different customers, like Alejandra uh, Camino, and here's the products that Alejandra bought, and here's the products that Alexander Führer fought, bought, etc. Uh, but I was going to show you how to get your top-selling product. Let's drag this customer name back off, and let's just click on Amount Total. Or, I'm sorry, don't click on that field. What you're actually going to do is, what you want to do is you want to sort products according to the amount. So you right-click on product and you sort by field amount. Now it's this little, you can't barely see that little arrow there, but you can click on that arrow. And right now it's got the smallest one on top, but if I click there, it sorts them from the largest down. So here I see my number one selling product, Cote de Blay, and here's the total that I've sold. 
Now let me show you how to do a simple cross tab, which a cross tab report is right now this is a very simple table. I've got the product in one column, I've got the amount in another. A cross tab allows me to add a column up here um, which where the values actually go across and the data becomes a cross tabulation of this set of items and the side of set of items that are along the top. So for instance, let me put employee's last name up on top here. And suddenly I have this data broken down by employee's last name and how much they sold of each product. So I see that Buchanan has sold 8,000, 8, etc. of Cote de Blay, whereas Devolio has sold 23,000. So I, this is called a cross-tabulation, where you take the product and you take the in this case the employee and you find out the cross tabulation of that product and that employee so let me just clear this off again let's put these back up on top and what if I want to ask the question who's my top performing salesperson so again this is very simple I drag employees last name over here and here I can see the amount is still there I can again uh, by default it sorts <coughs> alphabetically but again I right click and let's just sort that by amount and I can quickly filter and sort it so that I see that Peacock is my number one salesperson. Here you have the grand total, in fact, how much we've earned. So to summarize, I've shown you how you can take a simple, straightforward, comma-separated value file that you've created, and you could <coughs> download a free tool from the Internet. And using that tool, you can go and open a file, as I showed you earlier in the demonstration, and within seconds, you're able to analyze that data and ask questions of that data and information uh, that before this may have taken you quite a while to really calculate.